Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick, 10, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. All right, now for Ladies the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it clear. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Rock him, suck him out of the suit here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. Good point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big head kick. Right hand now just misses. Lands with the right hand. Just over three minutes to go on our first round. Look at the angle of that nice body. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's throwing every part of himself 
into these big leg kicks. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. There's no tell on that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open, and his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Throws the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Right? And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them guns and blazes. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Body to great effect. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Connects with a right. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Nice sneaky head kick. Lands the right hand. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Side kick, well placed. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Hands high, hands high. Beautiful punch. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. And there comes the separation now. Back and forth we go! Leg kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent very bad. An elbow! Oh! He didn't like that left hand. and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. That was a thudding leg kick. Ten seconds. Oh, dude, J 
just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. Ten minutes in the books. Why, right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Right hand upstairs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Pretty good right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's out! Oh! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush. And the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 46 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration.